Welcome back in your health news this morning. February is heart month and the CDC says over 60 million women in the country are living with some form of heart disease. It's also the leading cause of death for women here in the States. Here to talk about that is Dr. Jessica Shepard, CEO of Sanctum Med and Wellness. Good morning to you, Dr. Shepard. Glad to have you back. Cleo, how are you? I'm doing well. How does heart disease impact women? Yeah, heart disease is actually the number one killer in the world, but it's also the number one killer of women, even above cancer. So that's one in three deaths a year that are caused by heart disease. Now, typically women seem to get it later on in their life, and that's because there's a protection of estrogen. So after menopause is usually when you'll start to see women have more heart disease and obviously death. Right now, what do you think are some of the biggest risk factors and how can we help prevent it? Yeah, the, the biggest risk factors really are being a woman um, of age. So when we get increase in age, you're going to have a more risk factor of having any cardiovascular disease, which really can run the gamut of arterial disease, hypertension, congestive heart failure. So there's a lot of diseases under that umbrella of cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. And then also, like I said earlier, is menopause. Estrogen is one of the cardioprotective uh, features that women have through their reproductive years. And then as they start to have a decline in estrogen is when we start to see an increase in the number of cardiovascular deaths. Dr. Shepard, do you think hormone therapy increases the risk of heart attacks and potentially strokes? Well, I think that there was a long-standing belief that hormone therapy actually increased stroke and cardiovascular disease from a study done earlier in the 2000s. But what we are starting to see more and more through evidence is that it's the decline in estrogen after menopause that really is putting women more at risk. So when we think of hormone therapy, it really is a discussion that you should have with your healthcare provider in what is this and how is this going to impact me? And should I be on hormone therapy? Not just just for symptoms of hot flashes and night sweats, but also can we use this in a way that's cardioprotective? I think these are very important discussions. We're coming further along in science, which yeah. is exciting. This is a discussion we need to have. I agree. Uh, Dr. Shepard, what I guess are, are the best lifestyle tips for women as they age concerning heart diseases? Yeah, that's actually one of the most ways that you can prevent heart disease is through lifestyle changes, which is, again, a great thing when you think about it, because these are the things that we should be incorporating into our our uh, lifestyle, such as diet and exercise, even just movement, not looking at it as I have to go to the gym four times a week, but increasing a walk after a meal is going to help with that, as well as what, is, what are we eating in our diet that's going to decrease the risk, so cutting out some of those fried foods increasing fiber intake and also increasing protein in our diet as well. Mm -hmm. uh, before we go here, how does stress play a part in heart disease? Yeah, there are a lot of intricate things that happen internally on a cellular level that are attributed to stress. So I think that it's important that people understand that stress mitigation or finding ways to limit stress in our everyday life, such as through yoga, through meditation, through Tai Chi. Actually, a study came out on Tai Chi and how that really decreases stress. These are the things that we should look to incorporating into our routine that's going to decrease stress, that again is going to contribute to decreasing heart disease. Right, and this all plays a part in lifestyle. Dr. Shepard, I've seen some of the amazing things that you're doing at Sanctum Med and Wellness. How can people reach out to you and maybe see this spot for themselves? Absolutely. This is really an inclusive way for people to incorporate this in their lifestyle. So getting us on Instagram is probably the best way. And you can see all the modalities that we have with Eastern medicine and Eastern philosophy, including Western medicine. And then also giving us a call at 214-729-6299. Oh, so perfect. Dr. Shepard, thank you so much for joining us. And congratulations on your book as well. Yes, thank you so much. It's coming out in October, which is Menopause Awareness Month, and it's going to be on menopause, Generation M. We'll be sure to have you back as well. Thank you, Dr. Shepard. Thank you.